and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my glasses makeup tutorial. So makeup that you can wear under glasses. I share little tips and tricks on how to wear your makeup to I highlight your face, emphasize your face, especially when you're wearing glasses, it can make your features look quite different. So I'm going to share tips and tricks on how to you know, look the most flattering whilst wearing glasses. For you babes out there who have to wear glasses all the time, or just for reading, or you know, whatever it may be. I know I wear glasses for computer work and reading and things like that, so I know how it feels to have to wear glasses and when it rubs off on your nose, oh, it just drives me crazy. Anyways, let's get straight into it, shall we? <laughs> I'm going to first of all go in with a moisturiser just to hydrate my skin because I always like to make it look really plump and healthy underneath my makeup. So I'm going to go in with my Puda Healing Hydrating Face and Body Cream and I'm just applying this to my face and I always like to bring it down my neck as well because I always feel it's super important to as well like moisturise our chest and neck because when you get older it starts to look a little bit wrinkly and we don't really want that do we? Oh my gosh, this stuff always smells so good. It's the Rose Geranium and Lavender one. It just It's made with natural things, so it smells incredible. Like, oh. So once I let that product sink into my skin for about 5 or 10 minutes, so it's nice and hydrated and plump, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Self-Adjusting Complexion Primer to create a nice even base for the makeup. Because I'm going to be doing like a light to medium coverage, like I don't want anything to really show through my foundation so I like to use this to kind of even out the tone of my skin dull any spots or red like scarring or you know any breakouts or anything on my skin so once my skin is nice and primed the little trick that I like to do to help stop that little um you know when you wear glasses and it kind of rubs off on your nose where the little things sit you know sit resting on your nose when you wear sunglasses normal glasses whatever it may be it tends to rub off there and you can have those little red marks just sitting there and it's just not cute. So a little trick I like to do is before I apply my my foundation, after I've done primer and everything, is I go in with this concealer. I'm going in with my MAC Soft Ochre um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. You guys can use any one you have at home. I just like this one because it is long wearing and it really lasts. And I just apply it over that area where I know it's going to come off when I wear my glasses and it's going to create another barrier and something to protect against that wearing away and I just like go a little buffer brush from Real Techniques to help buff it in and I literally just bring it yeah, all down my nose up around the area in the corners I just bring it wherever I kind of like conceal a bit as well and I know it looks a little crazy now but it's going to look fine once I've applied foundation and everything. I look like I applied zinc to my face. <laughs> and I've already used this time to kind of like conceal my eyes a little bit as well. Like I'll go in and conceal properly later and everything but I've already done it a little bit now. Because when we do wear glasses it can kind of cause a shadow underneath the eyes to make you look more tired, more worn down, more older. So by highlighting it, by concealing and highlighting and things like that, what we're going to do today, it's going to help make you look more awake and younger and won't have that overcast shadow kind of sitting there, won't be so prominent. So now we're going to go to foundation. So I'm going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is the shade 04 Medium Beige. So like I said at the beginning, I want more of like a medium coverage foundation. I don't want anything too thick and cakey on the face. But it's up to you guys. You can do, you know, as much foundation as little foundation. This step's kind of optional, I guess. I'm going for more of a wearable daytime glam look. So you guys always want to make sure with any you know, makeup routine or foundation routine, you always want to make sure you're bringing your foundation down your... <laughs> I always do that. Always make sure you bring your foundation down your neck because you don't want to have that demarcification line where you can see where your foundation begins. And I always just make sure to put my foundation all over that concealer because like I said it was a barrier it's not a foundation to just sit on the skin we're gonna put our foundation on top to make sure that if the foundation does get worn away we've got that second barrier of defense so it's sitting underneath the foundation next I'm taking my concealer and I'm going to be going in with my instant age rewind concealer in the shade medium beige or medium moyen so I'm going to be concealing under my eyes and I'm also priming my lids with this to create a nice even base for the eyeshadows 
you guys can conceal any breakouts, redness, anything else. If you have a highlighting concealer, that's perfect as well because it's going to highlight the face as well as conceal. I'm going in with one um, just slightly lighter than my skin tone because with glasses, like I said before, it can kind of cause a shadow under the eyes. So having something a little bit lighter will help highlight the face and give a bit more light and attention to that area. You want to make sure that you're not applying too much product to your eye area. I use a thin concealer because if you do have too much product sitting there or it's a really thick concealer or anything like that, it's going to be emphasized because your glasses are going to emphasize whatever is around your eye. So if you have creasing, it's going to be more obvious. If you have a lot of product cakiness sitting around the eye area or this area in general, it's just going to really be emphasized because the lenses are going to make it like bigger and more obvious. Now quickly before we do set that concealer in place I'm going to highlight because when we do wear glasses it can kind of make our, our cheekbones not look so obvious and prominent. It can kind of cause a shadow there and you can kind of lose your cheekbones amongst your face with those glasses so I like to do a little bit extra highlight. So I'm going to take my Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline in the shade Iridescent and I'm going to place this on my cheekbones and like anywhere that I want to highlight. Next I'm taking my Glips Blur Powder Packed in the shade 21 and I'm going to bake under my eyes where I've concealed to set that concealer in place so it won't crease. I'm also going to set my lids in place and because this is a bit lighter than my skin tone it's going to highlight as well very subtly to create more light to that area so it doesn't look so shadowed. And the reason I'm using a blur powder today is because it's going to help blur out the pores as well so they're not so obvious underneath those lenses and they're not under a microscope being emphasised. And also when powdering your face you want to make sure you powder your nose as well where you place that concealer down to help it lock it in place so you know it won't budge. And I'm just using whatever excess I have on the powder to set my T-zone because I can get a bit oily there. So I just kind of set the centre of my face and just gonna bring whatever's left out towards the edges just so that it's set in place and to set all those powders in place I'm going in with my Scandinavia finishing spray in oil control to set any like extra powder or whatever's on the face like help it melt into the skin so the brows are a very important part of the face especially when you're wearing lenses and glasses because they're, going, they're actually going to shape your face. They're going to really help shape your face in the lens. So I'm going to be creating a bold brow today. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palettes in the shade Soft Brown for the head of my brow and Deep Brown for the tail of my brow to help create a more natural looking brow because we do have more than just one tone in our brow hairs. So I always like to just brush up the hairs first of all to get the shape of them. I have been growing out my brows more recently because I have just been loving that fuller brow hair look. Then I'm going to grab this brown um, powder from the soft brown palette and I always just like to place it just where my natural hairs start to grow because I'm creating a nice full brow but I want the head to be softer so I'm not going to place as much product there but yeah fill in your brows guys however you like to just make sure they're nice and a bit more defined for this look and like I said I'm just going to create a nice sharp brow so I'm just carving them out slightly just a little bit because I want that sharp AF brow want the brows to be round. <laughs> and I did create a little bit more of an arch as well because like I said I do want to frame the face and I feel like um, more like flatter brows wouldn't frame it as much but that's my personal preference. Oops sorry that was my phone. So like I said it is personal preference I just did a bit of an arch because my frames are a bit more flat I did want them to be a bit a bit more feature and a bit more lift to my face. And to create a more like feathery, fibery kind of brow look, because it can just look a bit too like structured, we need a bit give a bit more of that hairy look back to the brow. So I'm going to go with my brow this way brow sculpting gel to like I said create a bit more depth to my brows. So now the brows are done, that's a big feature of the face, done and dusted. I'm gonna move on to the eyes real quick before we do the rest of the face, just because I feel like 
So for eyes today, I want to keep it quite light and shimmery. It's a daytime glam look, like I said. And like I've been saying through this video, with lenses, you do want to have something that's quite flattering, quite light and bright to open the eyes up. If you guys have quite big eyes, then I'll show you some techniques to make them look a bit smaller because the lenses will make your eyes look quite a fair bit bigger. Or if you have quite small eyes, I'll do the other way around and make your eyes look a bit more bigger. So for a transition shade, I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350 palette and taking this well-used light brown shade from the palette. And I'm applying this in the crease firstly and buffing it through quite well. And then also bringing it onto my outer corner of my eye as well. And I'm blowing it out a little bit towards the tail of my brow, making sure to make it on an upward angle because I don't want it to be drooping the eyes down. I want to always make sure it's going upward to lift the eyes. And because you guys will be wearing like glasses at this look, it's going to be quite obvious if you haven't blended your eyeshadow well. So like I said before, make sure you're blending everything out really seamlessly and smoothly so there's no harsh lines that can be emphasized under those lenses. So next, on a pencil brush, I'm going to take these two deep brown shades from my Morphe 350 palette again and place this on my outer corner of my eye, buffing it slightly through the crease. And to make sure it's nice and seamlessly and blended out, I'm taking this Brick Brownie Warm Tone Brown shade and placing this on the outer edges of that brown, buffing it out with a petite crease brush. And then I'm just taking some of that transition shade on that first fluffy crease brush. I'm just going to buff out the edges of that warm brown tone shade. So it's super seamless and soft. And to really open the eyes up, a little trick I like to do is create a nice inner corner cut crease. And what I like to do is I like to actually create it just above my natural crease. So as you can see here, I've started from my inner corner. I'm going to map it slightly above because when you open your eyes, you're still going to be able to see it under the lens. It's going to make your eyes look bigger and um, more awake. And I'm just using my MAC Pro Longwear Consuela. And I'm just buffing out the edges with a buffer brush so it's not such a harsh line. And I'm just going to set that in place with just a bone coloured shadow, like a kind of creamy white. Next I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and a, it's a gorgeous like champagne-y shade. And I'm just going to pack this all over where we place down that white bone coloured shadow to create a bit of shimmer to the lid, bring a bit of attention to that. Dipping back into those two deep brown shades, I'm going to deepen up the outer corner again. Then grabbing some of that brick brown shade again, I'm going to place that right around the edges. So I'm going to place on some mascara now. I'm just using my Argan Wear Black Mascara. A little tip to keep in mind when you're doing your mascara, you don't want anything that's going to create too much length to your lashes because there's nothing worse than no, no, like being able to feel your lashes brush against your lenses whilst you're wearing them. So you yeah, choose a mascara that's going to coat your lashes nice and black and separates them really well but nothing that's going to give them too much volume or length. So you guys you can fully leave it with just the mascara but if you're a lash addict like me I'm going to go in with these Ardell natural lashes just to give a bit more fullness to my lashes. They have a nice clear lash band so they won't be obvious sitting on your lash line. So as you guys can see these lashes aren't too long or you know, voluptuous, they're just a bit more fuller, they add a bit more fullness to the look. So to make my eyes a bit more open I'm going to go in with a nude coal liner. This one's from Models Prefer. If you guys already have quite big eyes or your lenses make your eyes look really really big and you don't want to make them look even more bigger then you can just go in with a brown coal liner and it'll make your eyes look a little bit more smaller. And I'm going to take that deepest brown on a definer brush from Zoeva and I'm going to tightly wiggle this against my lash line to really define that lash line up again because having a nude coal liner in the waterline can make the lash line kind of disappear a little bit, kind of fades away so I'm, just going, to, I'm going to try and bring it back a bit more. And I'm making sure to focus this brown on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not bringing it all the way towards the inner corner because that will just close off the eye. So I've brought it about like Mm, a third, just over a third of the way, so nearly halfway I would say. 
And I'm going to blend that out with a pencil brush and some of that um, transition shade that we used at the very beginning. And you know what, I think I might even go in and just bring some of that warm um, bricky brown shade from my Morphe 350 palette and just tightly buff that against that deepest brown to just help smoke it out a little bit more. Just a little bit of it. And I'm just going to grab that on my Morphe M326 brush. And then I'm just going to place on some bottom lash mascara really quickly. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in for the inner corner and brow bone highlight. I want something to really pop on the inner corner to make it really stand out and open those eyes up. So I'm going to grab Ice Queen from Makeup Geek. It's just a gorgeous like satin white. I'm going to place this on my inner corner and brow bone. And I'm actually just going to bring some of the Ice Queen shadow under the bottom lash line a little bit. And that's the eyes finished, guys. So I'm next gonna I'm next. I'm next gonna move on with the face. And because we are wearing the lenses, we want to make sure we're nice and chiseled, not too like crazy, but just a bit more so that we look really structured and contoured and it goes well with the lenses. So I'm going to first of all warm up my complexion with my bronzer, and I'm loving my Babadacious Babe um, Micelline bronzer. So I'm just going to place this along the perimeters of my face and a little bit on the nose as well to warm up the complexion. And I'm just going to hit my chin as well, so just underneath the chin and also just along the jawline too. So to contour I'm going to go in with this cool tone brown shade um, in the shade Breakup from Makeup Geek. It's a contour powder. I'm going to really chisel out my cheeks with a fan brush. Um, not too heavily, I don't want just a strip along the cheekbones, I do want it to blend in. So I'm just going to go with my fan brush first to kind of create that line and then I'll blend it out after. So to blend it out a bit more, I'm going to take my contour blush brush again and some of that bronzer powder and I'm just going to kind of use upward swiping like blending motions to blend out that contour so it's not so harsh but it's still quite chiselled. I've just recently been doing this and it helps prevent that like cool tone strip and then that warm tone bronze like the clashing between the two it helps them fade into one another so it's more of a blended gradient for blush today you guys can go with whatever your heart's desire is i'm going in with this infatuation blush from makeup geek it's a gorgeous kind of like muted rosy shade and it's just so beautiful so i'm placing this on the contours of my face and just slightly buffing whatever's left on the brush on the apples but I do want most of it on the contours to really chill out that face. So now moving on to my favourite part of the face which is highlight. This is more of an integral part of the step because like I said before when you're wearing your glasses your cheekbones can kind of get a bit lost and we do want to still keep that lift to the face. If you're one who doesn't really like highlighting your face then by all means just highlight the high points of your cheekbones and that's it you don't have to highlight the rest of your face. Um, I am because, girl, I just love doing it. So I'm going in with Moon Gleam from my Violet Voss palette. I'm just placing this on the high points of my face, hun. And just highlighting the face is going to help your skin stand out a little bit more and look really glowing and youthful instead of just being quite dulled by the, by the glasses and the shadows it creates. So just giving a bit of light to the face helps a lot. So for a glasses look, I feel like a bold lip is just so appropriate because the lenses will be taking a lot of the focus of the eyes. I feel like the lips just need a bit of something extra. I'll give you guys a nude option as well. So if you don't really like the bold lip look, then you can go with the nude. So for the nude option, I'm actually going to take Commando from the Kylie Cosmetic um, Velvet Liquid Lipstick Kit. I'm just going to place this on my lips, girl. Because I just freaking love glossy lips, I'm going to go over top of that with my Dose of Colors Undressed Lip Gloss. I feel like it's such a trend at the moment. I just love glossy lips. Like, I'm, I'm personally just loving them. So this is with the nude lip option. I actually am digging this lip. Ah, oh, girl. Oh. But I'll give you, like, a more, like... More dramatic look, I guess we could say. So for my bold lip option, I went in with Chocolate Wasted from Dose of Colors. And I applied this over my lips to create a nice deep brown shade. And again, because I just love that glossy lip look, like, oh, I'm just in love. I went in with this um, Gorgeous Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Pout. And you end up with something like this. <laughs> 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look and don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave so you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, have an awesome day guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!